Sitaram, everyone. For those who don't know me, I am the elder of the late Anil Beam's two daughters. My name is Neelam Beam. Everyone keeps saying to me that my father was not an ordinary man. He was surely not an ordinary father. Everyone knows him as the one with the golden voice. But I am here to show you all a side of him that only me and my sister Pridivi was blessed enough to know. He was also the one with the golden heart. Our childhood was magical. I remember that Christmas mornings were the most magical day. We would wake up at 6 a.m. impatiently and impatiently wait by the foot of his bed while he rolled around like a hot potato for an hour. For those who knew dad, he slept during the day and would wake all night so early mornings weren't his thing. And trust me, we were spoiled rotten at that age. I don't know about getting one or two Christmas gifts, it was at least ten and that was just from him alone. Growing up under his care, there was nothing that I longed for, there was no struggle, there was no hardship. He made the world seem like a magical place. I was always in the background of all the flashy lights and Prithvi had that special bond over music with him. I was the responsible one, she was the baby. I was the one he was tough with, again, she was the baby. Growing up, we were both blessed enough to have two completely different relationships with him. We could never, ever compare our bond. But I know Prithvi, just like him, is as special as they come. My relationship with my father escalated beyond limits. The moment I had my daughter, he would video call. And this tough, hardback man would be tearing up over the phone. And I would blatantly laugh at him. But I could see he loved her so much. And he loved me just as much. His grandchildren were his everything. A family gathering to him wasn't about spending time with the adults. It was about the children. He would be on the floor with them while playing, from cuddles and kisses to wedgies and jump kicking the boys. He was the most loved Nana, the most loved cousin, the most loved Mamu Beam, and the most loved father, and the most loved husband. He is the one with the golden heart. Dad believed in living a life of passion. My father never forced me to do anything I didn't want to. I wanted to study perfect. I didn't want to, that was also perfect. He believed in doing what you love. He always said that I was a smart young woman and he just let me be. He lived for his love of music. His love of music has taught me to consume myself in my passion and I will excel limitlessly. Dad, in spite of all that I just said, I live my life to make you proud because nothing felt better than seeing you proud of me. Dad was the rock of my home, of, of, of the home, the literal beam of light. He was the one to always pull our family out of any sticky situation. Every moment growing up with my father has been preparing me for the strength I have to muster today. He taught us to be strong and resilient towards the world, to never worry about the materialistic things, and to always just do what you love. Sometimes it felt like you were punishing us, Dad. Today I understand that you were preparing us to live without you. It is no secret today that Dad always wanted a son. He wanted to carry, he wanted a son to carry his name and his legacy. But Dad, I promise you, the woman you have raised today is just as strong, maybe even stronger than you'll ever know. And to us, Dad, your legacy wasn't just your golden voice and the hard work behind it. It was also your pure and golden heart. 
The Beam Legacy is here to stay. We are here and we are strong. Pridavi and your three grandchildren, Zay, Rue, and Ray, are here to continue that legacy. We are here to continue to fly that Beam flag high. You always said to me, Lul, don't ever hold back that smile. Hold back the tears. Today, every memory of you is making me cry. And I can't hold back the tears. But I promise, eventually I'll only be able to smile whenever I think about you. I love you, Dad. You are the beam of light in our lives. Seats around, everyone. Anil Beam, radio personality, the vocalist, musician, band leader, but to me, my dad. I must be the luckiest girl in the world. Who else gets to say their father was also their best friend and their boss? He is my hero. He was my pillar. He was my strength. Father, you are my life. You have taught me everything I know, and I hope wherever you are, you are proud of me. I distinctly remember this one phone call we had. I had just told him I was pregnant with my firstborn son, Zayad. He called me at 1 a.m. that morning, and we talked for hours. His words were, Father Lil, you are the strongest young lady I know. You have been through a lot in life so far. And I know anything thrown your way, you can handle without a doubt. Well, I hope he was right. Because I definitely need that strength. Never in a million years, I thought I would have had to go through this pain so early in life. You have broken our hearts. You have the entire world grieving. You have inspired so many and touched so many hearts with your music. The only thing I can tell myself to make it make sense in my head is that you have lived a full, happy life without regrets and have accomplished so much that you are no longer needed here. You are with the angels now, so sing for them with that heavenly voice, Anil Beam. To his grandkids, Zayad, Ruhi, and Reis, your nana loved you all the most. I am so sorry you all had such a short time with him, but know that he will constantly be looking over your shoulders and guiding you through your life. Daddy, you were the greatest of all time. The best dad, the best husband, the best grandfather, the greatest son, brother, uncle, cousin, friend, and the most melodious singer. If I try to talk about all our memories we shared and how much of a superb person you were, this service for you will be never ending. It hurts me to say this, but you are in a better place now, Father. Fly high with the angels, my king. You will forever reside in our hearts. I will always be your little girl. Wish I could go with you, but you left me with a very important job to continue your legacy. I promise to fly a flag high. Rest in peace, Anil Beam. I love you. Before I go, I have something your past musicians put together for you. From the Fantastic Four, as you call them, Riyadh, Leeson, Rons, and Akshay. We will forever cherish the long nights spent in the band room, the many gigs we did, the impromptu coffee chats we shared, the many tours we did, and the memories we shared. From gracing stages like CSM and Brass to the awards you led us to win. Thank you for your wisdom, your brotherly advice, and most of all, the memories we made. God saw you getting tired, and a cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you and whispered, come with me. A golden heart stopped beating, hard-working hands at rest. 
God broke our hearts to prove he only takes the best. You never said I'm leaving you. You never said goodbye. You were gone before we knew it. And only God knows why. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you didn't go alone. Parts of us went with you the day God took you home. Rest in peace, beam, forever in our hearts.